world's best companies are grouped as Fortune 500 companies. A survey that was taken on these Fortune 500 companies on the year 1955 to 2014, the survey told that of all the companies that were in the list on 1955, only 12% lasted in the year 2014. It's a massive 440 companies that has gone out of the equation. In a world where innovation, technology, constant change is required for even a multi-million multi dollar firm to last, the survival of anybody, even a multi-million dollar company, is not easy. A Toastmasters club is very similar to a company where its customers are its members. And for a club to last for so long, not just longevity but also with success, and to achieve its meeting number 350 is quite a remarkable achievement. <laughs> Charles Darwin, when he speaks about evolution, he's not telling survival of strongest, nor is he, is he using survival of the smartest. He's not telling survey of the toughest, but he's, he's using the word fittest. A strange word fittest, which means that one who adjusts with its environment and one that meets the needs of its customers in terms of the survey of a company. The reason for Medley to be successful for so long, meeting the needs of its members, constantly changing, is not just the innovation or the technological advancement that we use to spread the word of Medley. But there is one big reason why Medley has come so long and such a long way. A Harvard professor tells that for a company to be successful long enough, the reason behind, this, behind it is strong leadership. I strongly believe that for Medley to achieve its meeting number 350, its strong leadership has been the backbone. Today, we have with us some of our dynamic leaders who, have, who has made Medley to achieve its meeting number 350. They have come here and grace this occasion. Let's take a moment's break and let's give a big round of applause for these leaders who have joined us here and for all of us to achieve this meeting number 350. There's lots in store for this meeting and uh, before we start, for the benefit of guests, we follow certain ground rules for the Toastmasters meeting, such as switching off our cell phones or putting it in silent mode for the reason that the meeting should not be disturbed. And we also refrain our speakers from speaking related to taboo topics such as sex, politics and religion. Today, our presiding officer is arguably one of the best leaders we have, arguably because he has come from this arguing profession. Yes, he is a lawyer. It's time for the president to be on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome the president of Medley Toastmasters Club, Toastmasters Sunil. <laughs> Fellow Midlands, Toastmasters from other club and guests, a warm welcome and good afternoon. Today is a great day, a proud day for all the Midlands. Today is our 350th meeting. I declare Before the start of the meeting, I would like to recognize the presence of some eminent leaders of District 82. Our Division Director, Toastmaster Kartik Mohandas. Our Chartered President, Toastmaster V. N. Subramanian. Our Past Presidents, Toastmaster Sundar Raman. Toastmaster Dwaldarajan, Toastmaster Jaindi Sundar, 
in Toastmaster Ramalingam, who is also the area IFED director. Now, fellow Toastmasters and guests, 350 is not just a number. I call it the fruit. The fruit of the dedication and hard work and sincere effort of a lot of millions to make this small club today a grand success. Today, because of the effort of all these people, Toastmaster, in the Toastmaster fraternity, mainly Toastmasters Club, hall is held high. Because of the struggle and sacrifices of all the Toastmasters, we are one of the best club in District 82. I call this a community. You would have seen, you would have noticed and experienced the camaraderie and fellowship between those uh, medlians during the past few meetings. In this occasion, I would like to recognize the valuable services and struggles of Toastmaster V. N. Subramanian, Shanti Vishwanathan, Nagaswami, ex-presidents and their ESCOM to make this club one of the greatest and one of the most important club of District 82. We are celebrating it today. A lot of efforts have been going to make this a success. I really appreciate the effort of our VP Education, Toastmaster Priyanka, VP Membership, Toastmaster Toshar, VPPR, Toastmaster Vivek, Arvind Vijayakarandai, our Treasurer, Toastmaster Devraj, Secretary, Toastmaster Samiksha, and Sadhanta Dams, Toastmaster Lokesh, and the event chair, Toastmaster Chakalingam. To make the grand Chakalingam is there. I'd like to recognize. Let us give a big round of applause. This, this is run completely by a new set of people. So you will see a lot of difference in running a milestone meeting. I am also a stranger like you to this, the content of the meeting. Everything is kept under suspense. Now I don't want to stand in between the fun and you. Like any other meeting, we have a Toastmaster of the day. Not Toastmaster of the day, Toastmasters of the day. But before that, there will not be general evaluator, grammarian, and accounter. We have a timer. Toastmaster Joshua will be our timer for the day. And now the Toastmasters TMOD, Toastmasters of the day. It is also a medley. One is a cool, confident guy was always stood by thick and thin of medley. He is an official, official. He is an employee of SCOP, and he. That's why he always says in his evaluation there is a lot of scope for improvement. <laughs> and another side, we have a young, vibrant, energetic Toastmaster, part of our youngest, young, uh, part of our youth brigade. Who has been? You would have seen her in a lot of places. She was uh, part of most of the district events as anchor, and we today are combining them to present you to take you throughout the the programs of the day. I would like to welcome Toastmaster Bala Barali and Toastmaster Anusha. Arvind Swami wanted to be the singer